Hello peoples, welcome back to another episode of Pet Battle World Quests. Today we are in Stormheim in front of the Vault of Agrimar, because today's opponent is at the top behind the entrance, and he goes by the name Omnitron Defense System. And if you have run the Blackwing Descent Raid in the past or recently, and you should be familiar with the Omnitron boss encounter. And this pet battle works pretty much the same way. Except, well, it's with pets. So, oh, it seems I do have a pet set of pets saved for this encounter. So the Omnitron defense system is treated as a trainer battle with this, I guess, control interface. Uh, let's jump right in. So you have mini ma Magmatron, mini Arcanotron, and mini Electron. They are all machines, except they have different types. Magmatron is elemental, fire, magma. Arcanotron is a magical pet, arcane, and Electron obviously is a machine. Now this works like the raid boss in that well, they have their own t special attacks. Oh, actually, there's another special thing. Each pet only has one attack. They have their own attacks, and they switch out after a short time. And in this pet battle, after their first move, they will switch out, I think, at the end of the turn? Anyways, so the way I've found to deal with these guys is damage over time effects. Because having, uh, let, let's say I go Aquatic Pet for Magmatron, then he's just going to switch out right away and I won't be very good against Electron or Arcanotron. Or maybe, let's see, Elemental against Electron or, you know, stuff like that. So that's why damage over time might be best, or even stuns, because that forces a swap out and a free turn. Okay, now, uh, let's see, I went with I'm going to Veil Lashling. I'm going to use, let's see, Poison Lash to Poison Magmatron, so he'll be poisoned. There you go, even when he swaps out. So let's see, he uses his attack, and then swaps out. Okay, that's how it works. Now let's just look over their attacks real quick. Magmatron has a elemental attack damage and causes me to burn. No, my mistake. Okay, it works like the raid boss. Deals fire damage to everybody, but a little more to your front pet. Arcanotron has Arcane Annihilator. Blast the enemy with a surge of arcane power. Opponent is struck by the blast, take 50% extra damage for data error rounds. Good job, Lizard. Uh, I think it's two rounds. Okay, so there's that. Maybe you want to switch out or put up a defensive ability. Like for I'm in a veil lashing, I have a heal. But maybe I want to put a poison on Arcanotron too. So I'm deal dealing damage to two of them at once. Last up is Electron. His ability is one round. One round on Arcane Annihilator. Electron's attack is Lightning Conductor. Launches an electrical bolt at the target dealing mechanical damage and reduces the target's damage done. This I don't think there's much to be concerned about. And I'm just going to poison him too. So now I'm dealing pot damage to all three pets at once. Yeah, look at all those numbers. So now I can heal up. And while Arcanotron is going to swap out at the end of this turn, it's okay because I'm still damaging him. There we go. And what else I can do is apply Stun Seed. Now hang on, what is this? Elemental Machine? Yeah, deals extra damage to elementals. Sorry. <laughs> Elemental attack deals extra damage to machines. Let's see, next pet I have chosen is Stunted Yeti. Okay, I'm gonna be a lashing you get from the Argent Tournament in Ice Crown for 40 tokens. Stunted Yeti. Fair or less. You can actually let me show you. North Rent, uh, Ice Crown, Argent Tournament Ground is up here. It's a bit of a grind to get to where you can actually farm tokens. But, you know, there are plenty of easier substitutes with poisoned attacks. Maybe fire, burns, bleeds, whatever, just pick something. Uh, Stunted Yeti and Feralas in Kalimdor can be found probably around here. Or maybe up here somewhere. 
And the last pet I went with is Ashstone Core. It drops off a raid boss in Molten Core, Golemag the Incinerator. And if you're wondering, Molten Core is in Black Rock Mountain, which is on the south end of Searing Gorge, or at the top of Burning Steps, right here. And you just head down into the bottom area and make your way to the to the to it. Okay, Stunted Yeti. I think I will. Hmm, Mangle works. It increases damage done by attacks to the enemy, so that increases the damage he takes by bleeds and poison. Look at that, 117. All right, Magmatron is no longer bleeding, so what I can do is probably stun him. There we go. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Clean my throat. Okay. So he's stunned, but he didn't swap out. All right. So I guess that's part of the pet's abilities, and not the actual trainer swapping them. But you know, at the start of the next turn, it is part of it. So he's probably going to bring out Electron or Arcanotron. It's actually random which one it is. So I could apply. Uh, Mangle to Electron if he comes out, or Canotron, but there's no way of knowing. But the best thing to do is probably Thrash. There we go. Lots of damage. Thrash again. That's great. So when you stun the pet, you get a free attack on the next one, and then you get to take another move against him. You know, I'd say stuns are better than damage over time effects. Okay, so... Magmatron doesn't have any damage over time or any debuffs, so I'm gonna apply exposed wounds. There you go, you just hang on to that. And it gets easier the more of these guys you take out. See, there's that, and now he's back. Now my damage is reduced, but that doesn't matter because I have applied Mangle. So it sort of evens out. There you go, Magmatron. Damage to me and my backline pets. Here's Electron again. How are you doing? Stun. So now Magmatron's going to come out and get hit. And then he's going to want to take his own turn, so he's going to get hit again. But not really, because he died in the first turn. Now here's Electron. All he can do is hit me and reduce my damage done. That's what it does, right? Reduce damage done. Yep. So yeah, it would be pretty difficult to counter this with pet type specific pets like an elemental just elemental attacks straight hitting it with stuff yeah stuns are probably most effective and maybe other things like increasing the damage you do to your enemy uh, maybe even area attacks like arcane explosion or what magmatron is using incineration security measures I'm curious let's see no, Cataclysm Raids, Blackwing Descent, Omnitron, Abilities, Arcane Annihilator. I'm checking to see if the names are the same as what they use in this. What was it? Electrical Dis Lightning Conductor. Causes them to inflict nature damage to allies. No, that's not it. Incineration Security Measures. Yeah. Okay. Well, this has been the World Quest, Pet Battle World Quest for Omnitron Defense System. If you found this helpful, liked this video, or anything else, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to follow along with this series or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well. Okay, till next time. I don't think there's another pet up currently that I can record. I've done Rocco already. And Dalaran has a repeat. Okay, when the next one comes up, I'll do a video on it. Till then, peace well, stay well, and farewell.